Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Musical People and Journeys, the July shows. Um, when I say shows, uh, let me explain how we would normally do things. Normally, we review um, twelve, about twelve albums over two shows, um, and we do it in like in a festival style. So you know, the opening act right through to the kind of headline act, um, and then myself and my team, we just review um, or give our personal ratings out of five. Um, so, um, however, what this show is about to do is an edited version of that of a single album review so if you just want to listen to um to a single album review out of the six you're just interested in 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 doing one rather than to, to listen to the who show um then here's your opportunity um i hope you enjoy it as it is edited so therefore there's going to be references to maybe things that were said earlier um and it, if that intrigues you and you want to listen to the whole show it's all up on our youtube channel um so please uh, like and subscribe as well that would be amazing if you can like and subscribe just to make us feel good um that would be fantastic i hope you enjoy um the format and um yeah keep on rocking and uh, i hope you enjoy Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Musical People and Journeys, the July shows. Um, when I say shows, uh, let me explain how we would normally do things. Normally, we review um, twelve, about twelve albums over two shows, um, and we do it in like in a festival style. So you know, the opening act right through to the kind of headline act, um, and then myself and my team, we just review um, or give our personal ratings out of five. Um, so, um, however, what this show is about to do is an edited version of that of a single album review so if you just want to listen to um to a single album review out of the six you're just interested in in, in doing one rather than to, to listen to the who show um then here's your opportunity um i hope you enjoy it as it is edited so therefore there's going to be references to maybe things that were said earlier um and it, if that intrigues you and you want to listen to the whole show it's all up on our youtube channel um so please uh, like and subscribe as well that would be amazing if you can like and subscribe just to make us feel good um that would be fantastic i hope you enjoy um the format and um yeah keep on rocking and uh, i hope you enjoy so we're uh, we're back and we're moving on to the next album um, on our wonderful list, which is oh now then keep your suspense. Um, well, it's Seventh Wonder, um, and it's uh, the band um, album is called The Testament. So, Paul, was this a testament to you? Did this did this was this the Seventh Wonder of the rock the rock album world for you? Oh wasn't the no. seventh one no really? no no they're uh, so they're a swedish prog metal band who it seems like to take the time in creating a, an album it's been four years since their last album tiara which was a concept album and that was after an eight year hiatus from um from the previous one however unlike tiara you won't find any tales of female astronauts on on terra nova <coughs> Which is a shame, really, but we can't have everything. Is it, is it, is it next to Venus 5? They need to jump on their spacecraft and nip over there. No, Tiara. You need to go to Tiara for the, the oh. astronaut, female space astronauts okay. and the adventures they get up to. Um, the musicianship uh, is superb. And although you can class the songs as a mixture of prog rock and power metal, the balance is finely tuned. Neither seems to overrun and ruin a song. Uh, we, we've we listened to some prog bands over the last couple of months, some dire ones. And for me, this is probably the best of the bunch, especially since none of the songs are overly long, including the instrumental uh, reflections. So you're saying this is a prog rock album you reckon in your mind this is a prog rock album prog metal album okay interesting interesting um you're nodding your head there uh, will yeah prog metal prog metal yeah. i agree as well really yeah. okay. that's what i've written down swedish progressive metal band yeah it's the metal of the future the metal of the future oh god now. Please. <laughs> oh, right so what did you think of it will i really enjoyed it and um, for me this was the oh, what jobs for me, it's the my probably second most listened to album of all the ones from this month. I thought, um, was it Warriors, the first song? Yeah. was a fantastic opening song. It really gives you sort of the whole vibe of what the album's going to be. Hitch of that power. Um, the singer's voice is fantastic. 
I really liked it. Instruments, great, very, very enjoyable solos. And oh yeah. This is this is again, yeah, this is what metal's gonna be. Or did you be, did, have you heard be. have you heard had you heard of them before? I'd never heard of them, but it's I've heard of quite a few bands who have this same kind of sound. But it's it's definitely something that I've um yeah, listened to more than most of the other bands this this month. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, I got apolog- I got apologize. The album wasn't Terra Nova. That's just the band that's coming up next. It that's right. Yeah. The Testament. Yeah. It was a testament. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you were lost in space, Paul. I was yeah, I was lost and spun out, uh, you know, you disoriented. Are, yeah. Gravi- yeah. You gra- you you sunk into some sort of gravity well. Yeah, I, I, I believe me, I was sinking. So, um, talking about gravity wells and coming out of a gravity well, Simon. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, I. So I really enjoy, I, I did enjoy the album. Uh, I did enjoy listening through it. Um, some of the songs were really good. I, as Will said, I really loved Warriors. I really loved, um, I think it's Invincible, uh, which is later in the album. I think there's like, a fantastic guitar solo towards the second half of it. Um, I'm not sure what it is, though. Something about the album misses for me. Uh, I, I really I can't put my finger on what it is I'm not sure I don't like about it. Uh, I don't know if it's his voice, because it's quite good. It is very good, but sometimes it's a little screechy. Um I don't know if it is that sort of prog rock element of, you know, sort of overly long, I know I've just praised one, but some of the overly long guitaring moments. Um, I'm not sure, there's just something that doesn't, for me personally, doesn't quite gel together for it. Uh, and I, I just can't put my finger on what it is, but I, I enjoyed it overall, though. Trish, did this, um, was this a testament for you? Um. I like I said, um, Swedish progressive metal band. The album opens hard and heavy with a bit of blues and jazz. Warriors is a mid-tempo metal anthem. The album itself is filled with plenty of memorable hooks, warm melodies, and excellent choruses. It's a good album of theirs to listen to if you haven't heard any Seventh Wonder music before, and you may want to delve into some of their back catalogue afterwards. Okay. Um... It, kind of interesting, really, guys, because I, I, I don't understand how we can label certain types of genres of music because I purely put this as solid power metal. I, I mean, you know, we reviewed Porcupine Tree, which is, um, which, which, which very much kind of classed as a prog metal kind of band, really. But I can't, I can't understand how you can put this into how you could possibly say this is a prog metal because, like. What what constitutes prog metal? Can somebody answer me that as to why you would put this? You would say this is prog metal. What, why? Why? What what constitutes prog metal? Uh, I may not know the most about genres, but usually it's sort of a fusion of you know, rock metal with more of that aggressive kind of sound, whereas power metal is sort of more the um, you know, big powerful vocals solos usually sing about dragons and unicorns and pirates fighting in space with laser beams shooting out of their unicorns tails and it's it's yeah it's kind of like a fusion rather than being in a heavy metal is purely heavy metal you can tell what it is it's that very distinctive sound it's sort of fusing elements from heavy metal rock into more of a a wide thing so it's it's one of those things where it's harder to identify that as a genre because yeah. it's not really a genre. It's sort of lots of things merged into one weird abomination of a genre. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> does anybody want to add to that, Simon? It's your, it's... I mean, there's there's definitely a certain sound, and uh, forgive me, I'm completely tone deaf, but there's definitely a certain sound that makes you think, oh, this is prog. Um, <laughs> maybe it's a, maybe there's a particular set of chords or something that it is that I can't, I could never identify, but there's definitely a certain sound that makes me hear a certain particular guitar style that I hear and go, ah, oh, that is prog rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can compare like Porcupine Tree, which was prog metal, which was yeah prog rock. I wouldn't call it metal. It was very much experimental. There was lots of di- kind of different instruments, and then it, and it did go on a little bit. But uh, yeah, I was just kind of 
I was just kind of interested, really, in terms of how you would... Um, anyway, what do I think? Um, I think I'm kind of going along with Simon. I think this was a really solid album again. It was, you know, it wasn't, like, outstanding, but it wasn't really... It wasn't naff either. There were some great moments. There were some magical moments in this. Warriors was a good song. Um, there were some really... And again, similar to... There were some terrific guitar riffs in there. There was. There was. There were some magical moments in there. But I think I'm I'm along with Simon. I I, I, I kind of feel I should love this album. And, I, and, I, and I, I, it's not that I love it. I, I dislike it. I don't. I actually enjoyed it. It was a really solid effort. I, I, you know, would I listen to it again? Yeah, probably would. Did I download it? No. Is it something I really want to listen to again, over and over again? Probably not. But I did enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid effort. So, um, okay. Um... So let's find out our ratings then. Um, so, um, uh, Will? Four and a five. With a point somewhere in between. Four and a, a, four and a five. I'm going, you can't have it. Yeah. Uh, with, with, a, with a point somewhere between them. Uh, somewhere. Four point five. Wow. That's, that's really good for you, uh, Will. Paul? So while Paul unmutes himself, Trish? Four out of five. Four out of five. <laughs> I'm going to leave you to last now for that, Paul. Uh, Simon? Uh, it's very rare I do this, but a 3.5. A 3.5? Yeah, you don't like your 0.5, do you? So, no, um, I don't. But this is, this is definitely the deserving of a 0.5. Definitely. Paul? Yeah, a 3.5. 3.5. Um, it got a 3.5 from me as well, funny enough. Oh, close, guys. Close, I think. Close. Um, well, 3.5, that is uh, 7, 10.5, 12. Hold on a minute. 11, 15, 19. Oh, definitely top 20 album of um, of the year so far. Um, not quite making it a, a Hall of Fame, though, but certainly, um, it certainly got, might even make our top 20 of all time, um, for, you know, which is pretty, pretty solid. So it's amazing when we all kind of solidly yeah. agree on an album. Obviously, uh, it can all change, but I'm quite afraid by just how uh, in sync our scores have been right? so far. This is wrong. Normally, <laughs> right. it's me slamming the song because it's indie and I hate it. Well, that's because Chris or Chris someone has, else. That's because Chopper Dunnins and, um, <laughs> and Grenade Nathan is not here. We call him the Grenade, I think. So, anyway. So, well, um, so far, it's been a pretty solid opening, too, um, really. But. What comes next, uh, people? 